Yeah, Hi there, I am still here in Lefkada and it is pretty much windy every day. Today I would like to share with you my hobby, which is again considering kite surfing. As you probably already know, my name is Petr Palic and I'm a kite surfing instructor since 2012. I first decided to work as an instructor in order to kite every day, but also because I love sharing my kite surfing knowledge and experience with others and helping other kiters in reaching their goals. Therefore, whenever I'm kite surfing, whenever I'm doing lessons, I like to watch other kiters around how they are doing and seeing what they are struggling. So maybe I can give them some tips to help them to improve safer and faster. Therefore, I am taking you today with me to Agios Nikolaos beach where it is the safest beach for beginners here it is side on shore wind sandy beach shallow water just in front of the beach afterwards it's getting deeper and as it is so safe there are many kiters doing just a couple of hours of lessons and practicing kite surfing independently and I believe that many of them would like to get some extra tips to progress in their kite surfing smoother, safer, and faster. So let's go to help them. I just arrived on Agios Nikolaos beach, looks pretty windy. I took anyway just 15 meter reach with me, which I should be really nice powered. So first of all, I'm gonna set up my 15 meter kite, go for a small session and analyze those people I see now, whether they need help for sure or they just need to practice. I am ready to go. I set up my cell video system camera so we can capture everything much better and nicer and now i have to find out how i'm gonna launch my kite fortunately there is no one close to me so maybe i'm here to show you how i'm self-launching the kite i made already this episode for you the most important it is that there are no sharp subjects on the beach So here it looks pretty good, it's just sand and that we have a lot of space downwind. Here we have these bushes which yeah for sure if my kite end up there it's gonna have some damage. If I end up there not much would happen to me but I'm making sure to not end up anywhere. This is why I'm doing the self launching as safe as possible. Now I have to find 90 degrees compared to the wind so here's the kite. So somewhere there I have to be while turning my kite. Okay, we have to make sure that the lines are fine. So the back line one it's free. Another back line it's free. Everything looks fine. So I have to reach approximately 90 degrees from the wind. Okay. And now it's time to turn it and slowly keep on walking upward. That went quite well. A bit the middle line stuck on the wing tip. I was holding the chicken loop in my hand, so whatever would go wrong, I would just have to let go of the chicken loop and the kite would lose all the tension. I think I was far enough from the bushes, so I would not even drop it on the bushes. But yeah, I managed to hold it and everything went fine. It's quite strong for a 15 meter. I would say that it is now around 17 knots. So I'm having quite a good power. So let's have fun and check around who might need help. Underneath. 
and go for the flip. Now to the left side and the other side. Wow. Ciao. This was an easy task. I need something more challenging. Now, strangely, I don't see many people that might need help. It's not super busy today, so I will go in the lagoon session. We are in the lagoon, and it looks quite good. They are doing quite well, so I will have to go upwind, search for uh, more beginner riders and try to help them out because this is why I'm today here. Hi, can I help you maybe? Oh, okay. Ciao, my name is Petar. John. John, where are you from? From the Monaco, Heidi Nicola. Heidi Nicola, okay. I would like to help you with some tips. What? Like, if you're riding upwind, I see you are struggling a bit. Yes. To go upwind. Usually you are able to go upwind. Usually you are able to go upwind. Uh, what? With me? Yeah. Okay, of Are you able to go upwind? Usually. Uh, yes? Usually. Are you going to speak well English? Yes. Ah, okay. Speak well. Okay. But, yeah, I see riding upwind. You know, now ah, you are... Yes. Upwind, yes. Upwind. Difficult for uh, you. Right or... Uh, left. For you, I see you are all the time finishing downwind. Yes. And then you walk. Ah, okay, yes. So I want to give you some tips. Yes, I understand, yes. Can I give you some tips? Yes, you can. Okay. Unfortunately, because of lack of English, I was not able to help John properly as I wanted. There were small little details for John to adjust, so he would be able to ride properly upwind. The main one it was that his streamline was completely pulled in, so not much tension on the back lines. The wind was definitely not so strong, so it was much more difficult to properly steer the kite and to feel a nice tension on the bar. I will keep on helping other kiters on the beach, and hopefully next time I will be able to help better and to properly record all the progression. Please like this video if you like that I like helping other kiters and see you soon.